2018 was uh, very important because we are in the process of adopting the, uh, the new financial framework. And when we are talking about the money, so then the friendship goes uh, uh, aside, as we know very well. And we have uh, got a lot of uh, positive remarks uh, uh, before, but what was the most important was to have it um, um, somehow uh, expressed uh, through uh, the legal proposal of the next, uh, uh, next MFF. We have been uh, um, sitting together with uh, Regulatory Scrutiny Board and, and other uh, corporate services and we have been screening all evaluation processes of the existing uh, regulations and uh, spending programs. For the new regulations, uh, we have been supporting most of them uh, with uh, impact assessment, with modeling, with our capacity. So I think this was uh, quite a high uh, level of appreciation and trust uh, of the work of JRC. Knowledge management became, um, I would say, a mainstream, not only in Jersey, but also in the Commission, which is quite a success. If you look at, at what, uh, what is going on in the Commission, there is a huge interest in knowledge management. Many DGs are embarking on this because they, they feel that, you know, there is so much data, uh, information, knowledge out there. They need to do something uh, to get oriented in this, um, in this tsunami, in this fog. So we organized this year. Um, the, the first ever Knowledge Week, together with SecGen and, and DGHR, promoting the knowledge management as a tool, as, a, as an approach. And we had uh, 2,400 commissioned people participating. Knowledge Week also, um, in a way, helped us to understand that we are not uh, beginners in the, in the knowledge management. Actually, we are in, the, in, in quite a good leading position uh, worldwide in, in, this, in this respect. This is very important that uh, all these anticipatory uh, exercises are helping to tune your mind more forward than backward looking or, or focusing right now of, on, on urgent things uh, instead of important things. The Commission, but also the governments are more in reactive mode, not allowing uh, uh, to focus on, uh, on important issues which are coming. And I think that in this uh, world where all is happening so quickly and, and uh, uh, changing so fast, so then we need, to, we need to change our mindset. The tangible result of Foresight uh, uh, of 2018, definitely FTA conference, Foresight Technology uh, Conference, uh, which is the recognition of the re leading role of GRC in the worldwide uh, Foresighters community. Uh, very good results of horizon scanning, involvement of a lot of people and interest uh, for the first time this year we have the interest of other services in joining and this is very very important because we cannot do uh, horizon scanning on, only on our own because we need uh, policy DGs to be part of uh, confirmation, debating and selecting the most important element. Artificial intelligence um, is something which is uh, already shaping uh, our present and will be shaping more uh, the future. So I'm very proud of uh, artificial intelligence report and this is a good example of knowledge management. There is not uh, new research behind uh, this report, but there it is a result which is bringing new knowledge. This is an excellent example of uh, collaboration. Twelve units have been working together and they have never been working together before. And the result is absolutely great. The, the feedback is, is extremely positive. Feedback from policymakers, but also from um, very good experts in the field. So I think that this is, this is excellent. Horizon Europe uh, and uh, its part uh, on Euratom are the fundamental regulations which are uh, basis for our, our future work. The way how this was constructed uh, by European Commission, how it was approved, and how the negotiations are going on in both the European Parliament and the Council, uh, it is very positive for us. All in all, we did not notice one uh, negative remark. 
from European Parliament. There is one, uh, uh, one demand on working more on these uh, cross-silo uh, issues, on this anticipatory capacity of looking at how in the future the technologies and the new development is going to shape the policy and society. So I think this is very positive. And there is also one new, uh, in, in a way, policy or political innovation that's a separate program for nuclear decommissioning. Uh, uh, this role of GRC in this respect is, uh, is, very, is very positive. And this is also a good example because on the top, uh, what the Commission did not propose, but again, European Parliament came in this uh, respect with the request, and it was fully supported by Council as well, to collect the knowledge from all the Commission ac activities uh, going on in Europe and uh, make it available for the higher and better quality of the commissioning uh, done by different actors. Two thousand eighteen was internally very important. Uh, I think that we achieved a very high level of performance, a high level of appreciation uh, from different uh, external and internal uh, partners uh, inside the Commission and outside the Commission. But definitely, um, we have a uh, very challenging uh, year 2019 ahead of us. Every five years, we have important, uh, uh, important changes in the leadership, the political leadership. But 2019 will be a very special year uh, because we see a lot of turbulences across Europe, across the world. And I think that we need to step up our activity also as, uh, as a citizens. That we are not shy to talk about the uh, positive sides of Europe. It's not perfect because it's a human construction, but it's the only way to uh, go survive uh, and uh, strive um, in, in the following years.